Hi there. Okay, so this is my third video on um, my series of being coming debt free with the hubby, um, where I'm trying to get my family out of debt and do it without the support. I guess that's the word I would use of my husband. I'm trying to get him on board and it's more difficult than I thought. I think this is going to be harder than I thought it was. Um, I'm trying to still be patient. Um, as I said yesterday, I, I think being patient with that person is a good idea only because they haven't had the chance to get themselves acclimated with the idea of, of digging out of debt. Like I came up with the idea, so for me, you know, I've had plenty of time to think about this and decide that this was the right thing and my husband hasn't had that chance. So I am trying to be patient. However, <laughs> um, he took the day off today and he actually just ran into town, which is the reason why I'm able to make this video because he doesn't know that I'm making this video series. <laughs> um, but he was home today and so I thought, well, today will be a good day for us to have a talk about some of these things that I've been wanting to talk to him about, like um, how we tend to blow, like I was mentioning in my last video, that we live paycheck to paycheck, but in between l the weeks that we live outside of our means, which is every week until my husband goes on call and he gets a standby check, which is significantly bigger, and then we bail ourselves out. And then in between that again, we live outside of our means until we have enough money come in again that we can bail ourselves out. And it's a vicious cycle that we've been doing for years. And we're, we've never gotten ahead because that's how we live. Um, and now that I have recognized this cycle and it's become clear to me that this is what we've been doing and uh, this isn't going to work, um, I'm wanting to change that. So I actually... <sighs> my husband and I were just sitting there together and so I just started nonchalantly talking about this thing you know this problem and how you know instead of spending all that money we get <laughs> for a standby all in one fell swoop instead of just spending it all right away um, and acting like it's extra money which is kind of how we treat it we treat it like oh we've got all this extra money it's not extra money if we're living outside of our means every week in between that that money isn't extra so technically we live within our means but the spacing of those checks that are big enough to keep us above water are so far apart that we really need to stretch them for the whole six or seven weeks until the next one comes so um, and why we've not done that, I, I honestly can't tell you why we've never done that. It's just, I guess, ignorant. I don't know, ignorance or I, I cannot even explain to you. Now that I've kind of, I, I think now that I've figured out what we've done for the last 10 years and like why we're here, it's like, I don't know if you'd consider it like a light bulb moment or an epiphany or just a complete realization of our total stupidity for the last 10 years. I don't know what you would call it, but now that I see it through these different eyes of this is stupid, um, I can look at it and it just, it seems just so absurd to me that we've done this for this long. My husband hasn't, he's not looking at it this way yet. So this conversation, any conversation about money with my husband, it can go either kind of good or pretty well but generally I am met with an with a an attitude of like just annoyance like he's annoyed by the conversation or and he'll say he's fine and you know say you know like what's the matter nothing's the matter I'm just fine and you know what are your thoughts here because you can see that there's this is not a comfortable I don't want to have this conversation I don't want to talk about how we're living outside of our means and you know my husband works very hard and he's in his mid 40s so at this point in his life I think he looks at this like he should have something to show for the work that he does and at this time in his life he should have more than he has and he shouldn't be having to pinch pennies right now and I totally get that and he's right but you can't live this way and expect to have financial abundance you have to you have to make smart choices and we have not done that. So you can't expect to have all these things that you want and not 
make the decisions that get you there. So I'm, I'm kind of flustered because I'm not sure how to approach this. So I also had something that's been very, that's something that I consider to be very important that I've needed to talk to him about for several days, actually for like a week. I actually had to give myself enough time to cool down about it before I could even consider the thought of talking to him because it was something that was done financially and it, that bothered me very, very much. It still does bother me. And I think it's something I need to talk to him about. Um, because I'm looking at it from my point of view and I see it as a problem where he probably doesn't even realize that it's a problem. So um, I think he's getting ready to pull back in. So I'm going to have to cut this video really short. Um, but I will let you know uh, about this conversation that I hope we're going to have. Um, I brought it up and then he said, oh, well, I have to run to town. So he's avoiding the whole thing. He doesn't really want to have these conversations. Um, which is also a problem. So I'm going to try to have this conversation with him. He is here. So I will let you know how that goes. So keep wishing me luck. <laughs> Thanks.